Greetings, my name is Heather Ensworth, and I'm an astrologer, and I want to talk with you about this very powerful total solar eclipse that's coming up on August 21st. This will be the first time in 99 years that we in the United States have experienced an eclipse that's running clear across the country, in this case, from Oregon on one coast to South Carolina on the other. This is a profound time for all of us, and this eclipse is bringing us a profound message. Since ancient times, we've understood eclipses as a wake-up call. It's telling us that something is happening that's out of the ordinary, and we're being called to pay attention to some shift or some change that we need to be aware of in our lives individually and collectively. So what is the meaning of this solar eclipse? We can understand that by looking at where this eclipse lands in the sky. And this new moon total solar eclipse falls in the stars of Leo right next to Regulus which is one of the four royal stars in the sky. And Regulus is at the heart of Leo the lion. Nearby are Mars and Mercury, all in that configuration near the star of Regulus and in the stars of Leo the lion. Regulus is a very important star in the sky and its meaning is about living from the heart with courage and integrity. When we work with the energy of Regulus in a conscious way, it guides us into the capacity to step into our leadership skills, to really act with courage, to live from the heart, and to live in a way that we're really living out our truth with integrity. The danger of working with this powerful star is if you're not in integrity or if you're seeking vengeance or seeking to harm others, then this star will actually disempower you. But the energy of this solar eclipse is calling all of us to look at Mars, our actions, Mercury, our thoughts, the sun and moon, who we are our emotional experience, our ways of being. Are we living from the heart? Are we living with courage and integrity? This eclipse can guide us to look at what patterns do we need to let go of? What aspects of our lives are we, in what ways are we out of balance or out of alignment with who we are and who we're meant to be? And you can Experience this solar eclipse as a wake-up call and a chance to realign with your deeper soul self and your capacity to live not from the mind, not from external expectations, but from your own inner knowing and from the heart. This is a powerful time in that this eclipse is a part of a grand trine in the sky. The sun and moon are in a triangle with Uranus and Saturn. This configuration is really calling us to look at how we can move into new ways of being, how we can be in alignment with our true selves. And Saturn is in the sky right close to the galactic center, guiding us to stay in deep connection with Source and to find our grounding, our alignment, our truth in that connection with spirit, with source. And Uranus is really guiding us to let go of what we know, need to shed that no longer serves us, to open to new ways of being. So this is a powerful time to reflect, to meditate, to really look in your own life at what do you need to release? What do you need to let go of? And how can you step more fully into courage in living from the heart and being who you're meant to be? The power of this eclipse 
is that it can help us shed our fears, shed our old ways of being and the ways that we've blocked ourselves or not really been in our full power and in our full truth. So open to the energies of this powerful eclipse. It's guiding you, supporting you, helping you to move through the changes that you need to make in this time. It's significant that this eclipse is really targeting the United States. Where an eclipse really is visible in its totality is where it's also calling that part of the globe to wake up. So this is a wake up call for the United States. And when you look at where the energies of this eclipse land in relationship to the chart for the United States, it's really basically a message to us here in the States to look at who are we? What do we believe? What are our core values? And how are we in alignment with those core principles and values? How are we out of balance and out of alignment? So this is a wake up call for the country as well. And it really can support us in reflecting as a nation on ways that we may have gotten out of balance and what we need to do to come back to living from the heart and living out of a place of courage, not out of a place of reactivity or out of fear or out of polarization, but out of truth and out of love. This eclipse, interestingly enough, also has a powerful impact in the chart of Donald Trump. It lands right on his rising sign, his ascendant, and on Mars. So it's also a wake-up call for Donald Trump, and it's really calling him to live in alignment with what true leadership is about. Again, living from the heart with courage. And again, Regulus is a powerful star that can bring success, but it will call a person into accountability if they're not living from that place of deeper truth or they're living in some way that they're seeking to harm others. So as we move through this powerful eclipse time, let us hold the awareness that we are being guided by these energies of the planets and the stars. This is a profound time of transformation that we're all in, not only in this country, but globally. The planet and all of us who are here in this time are being called into a profound time of transition and transformation as we move into a new age, the age of Aquarius, and move into a whole new dimensional way of being that is about living from the heart, living out of love, living out of courage, living in openness to each other, acceptance of diversity, not getting caught in polarization or reactivity or fear, but really living in the energy of an awakened heart. So as we experience this solar eclipse, let us each take responsibility for how we open to the energies of this powerful time and let these energies from the planets and stars heal us, change us, transform us, and guide us into being beings of light and love in this profound time. Blessed be.